Technology has advanced exponentially since the invention of the wheel, and today I'm going to be discussing the progress towards technological singularity. The term technological singularity holds a number of different definitions, but for this presentation, I'm defining it as a hypothetical point in time at which technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable changes to human civilization. This timeline created in February of 2017 documents the evolution of life that has taken place leading up to present day civilization and marks technological singularity as the future we're heading towards. According to this graph, allegedly we're here in the age of the internet. I would argue that we're currently living here in the future and our actual future is more somewhere over here. I'll start with the advancements denoting technological singularity because in regards to biological digital fusion, in July of 2017, only five months after this timeline was published, Elon Musk's startup company Neuralink came to fruition. Neuralink's official mission statement is to develop ultra-high bandwidth brain-machine interfaces to connect humans and computers. The company has designed novel electrodes and robot-executed surgical procedures and have already been successful with decoding a monkey's real-time brain activity, allowing it to play the retro arcade game Pong using only its mind. It's not magic. The reason Neuralink works is because it's recording and decoding electrical signals from the brain. Great game, Pager. And what better reward for a monkey than a banana? Another commonly cited component of technological singularity is digital self-replication, also known as whole brain emulation or the idea of uploading your mind. For whole brain emulation to occur, there are a list of advancements that would need to take place first. The first couple of which involve mapping the cells of the brain in a way that's detailed enough to be able to recreate these connections. And in June of 2021, Google released the Brain Map, which reveals their success at creating a 3D rendering of 50,000 cells in the human brain. The rendering was created using electron microscope imaging and the help of artificial intelligence, which we'll touch base on later. This is the most detailed image of a human brain to date and is certainly a step forward towards whole brain emulation. Besides having detailed images to study, another requirement often cited for whole brain emulation to occur is the need for a computer powerful enough that can run the one quintillion calculations that the brain makes per second. Spotlighting Google again, their quantum computer Sycamore recently completed a calculation that would have taken the most powerful supercomputer at the time 10,000 years. And if you still don't consider this growth uncontrollable, Sycamore also made headlines recently for the alleged presence of a time crystal, which involves quantum particles breaking the second law of thermodynamics by having repetitive motion without energy. The last advancement on this list involves digital sentience, or when artificial intelligence becomes self-aware. Should artificial intelligence ever become conscious, their capacity for learning and access to infinite information would have unprecedented effects on humanity, and is often when the idea of dystopian robot futures come into play. However, if preventative measures and proper regulation allowed humanity to continue after digital sentience, life beyond the singularity would be similar to that of a fantasy novel. With the combination of artificial intelligence and medical advancements, it's theorized that humans would have the capacity to stop the process of aging, or at least avoid death indefinitely by uploading their consciousness into simulated realities. It's also proposed that with the combined efforts of self-replication, biological digital fusion, and digital sentience, it would become possible to revive the dead by using novel electrodes to retrieve memories from loved ones combined with their DNA to create a replica of a person they once knew. Ultimately, only time will tell if human achievement becomes too advanced for its own good. Thank you for your time.